Okay guys, we're going to take a first hand look at the Air Jordan 1 Retro High Zoom Editions. And I'm going to get you guys thoughts and opinions on them. So without further ado, let's get into it. What's up guys, welcome back once again to the DC Show. This is T. McNeil. So yes guys, I want to get you... Uh, yeah, well, you guys, thoughts and opinions on the Edge on One Retro High Zooms. All right, guys, now they will be releasing in December of 2019. There isn't an official release date in December, but I'm just giving you guys the basic window of when the shoes will be um, available and hitting the streets. All right, um, as far as the colorway, guys, um, it's not really revealed as of yet. The shoes have kind of like a chameleon effect, so what I'll do, I'll put up some more images aside from the thumbnail that you guys see, so you can see that kind of, uh, like I said, chameleon effect that the shoes are uh, going through as we speak. Okay, now different images, um, I, I believe it's based off of uh, which way the sun is actually hitting the shoes, or how light reflects against these shoes. Uh, it makes the shoes look vastly different, okay? So we'll go over that and we'll pull up some information as well, all right? But like I said, if you guys have any comments, any questions, uh, leave it down below. So without further ado, man, we're not going to waste no time. Let's jump to the information. We'll jump to the images and we'll get you guys thoughts and opinions, all right? So as far as the information, guys, it does say that Jordan Brands got big plans for their ever popular Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG this holiday season and one of the pairs that'll will be bringing to the market is the striking new Zoom makeup. Although the cut is immediately familiar, the stylings and especially the accents are quite unlike anything we've seen on the Air Jordan 1 before. A fully reflective, oil slick-esque material coat the entire upper while the back stitching provides contrast and highlights the classic design in compelling fashion. Although there are indeed traditional embellishments to be seen here, like the standard colored flat ball and wings logo, the old school logo as you guys know it. There's also a wide swatch of new tweaks for you to feast your eyes on as well. Now, a text hit done up in a computer code style font appears on the lateral heel or the back side of the shoe, we'll go over that. While the zoom tag is stitched near the collar as well, indicating that these Air Jordans have swapped out their traditional air sole for a zoom air unit or two. Lastly, a black throat black midsole and smoky opaque also finalized the look check out this interesting new Air Jordan ones right here stay tuned for more info when it becomes available so guys as I always tell you to make sure that you stay tuned and keep it locked right here at the DC show and when more information becomes available like the price point and the official release date in December of 2019 I'll do a separate video and uh, let you guys know alright so without further ado man let's go ahead on and uh, throw up the images and let's go over the shoe really quickly all right so here's the first image right here guys uh, and as you can definitely see that balls and wing logo typical edge on one but I want you guys to really pay attention and feast your eyes on this actually uh, very unique colorway that Nike has actually created and uh, I'm liking it a whole lot uh, like I said a fully reflective oil slick s material coat okay guys so we don't know the official colorway but we know what the material is as far as a colorway standpoint is concerned, okay? So you guys can see it for yourself. Uh, really unique, man. And then you can see the code that they were talking about on the back heel side of the shoe. That also looks great as well. Uh, if you guys look right where the toe box area is, you can see it kind of has, again, that chameleon effect. You got some purple in there. You got some blue. Uh, you definitely got some green in there as well. Okay, guys, it looks like you even have a little bit of yellow that's starting to stick out. Again, it all depends on how the sun, or again, how light is reflecting off of these shoes. So it definitely looks great. And obviously, um, the midsole is blacked out. Uh, typical Air Jordan 1 midsole. Nothing really special there. All right, guys. Now, uh, we'll throw up another image here, guys, really, really quickly. Uh, let's see which one. All right, guys, so we'll throw up this image here. Now, this is both shoes uh, lying face down on the concrete right there guys with the pavement where the roadway is uh, hopefully whoever was actually in, uh, I'll say in charge of the shots for this actually had a 
uh, deserted road where you don't have cars passing by what they, what they were doing. So I think that would be pretty dangerous, all right? But, again, you can see that code on each side of the shoe, guys. You can really see just how stunningly beautiful these shoes is. And like I said, it's because it has that chameleon effect, you know, it really doesn't limit you as far as your outfits and the hats or socks or anything like that. However you decide that you want to actually uh, match this, these uh, shoes up with your outfit, you don't pretty much have to worry about that because again, because of the way the light is hitting it, it's going to match with pretty much everything that you wear, okay? But like I said, you can see the uh, individual stitching guys right where the uh, <coughs> toe box area is guys, it got the air hole vents, typical Air Jordan 1, you know, uh, feature there, nothing really out of the ordinary, you know, um, as far as where the shoe strings are guys, looks great as well. The side panels look great. No complaints here. Alright guys, now I'm going to throw up another image guys. In this particular image, you can kind of see what it looks like when the light doesn't hit the shoes. Okay guys, here it is right here. Now you can see this looks like the left shoe and it's the same shoe but if you guys look at the midsole and the outsole of the shoe, now it doesn't look blacked out. It actually looks like it's got a little bit of blue in there like a navy blue. So that's definitely unique. Uh, but look at the actual material itself on the shoes. You see how it, now it kind of looks black or grayed out in a sense? You see what I'm saying guys? It really does have a, a variety, or I'll say a rainbow of colors into this OPEC uh, feature that comes with the shoes guys. You know, and again, it's that, um, what do you call that again guys? The uh, fully reflective or slick-esque type material, okay guys? so. We can't really say that it's leather, we can't really say that it's definitely not patent leather. Um, kind of could be like a premium leather, but it's not even like a leather, it's, it's a different type of material, so it, it's definitely different, okay? But I want to get you guys those opinions on that, alright? Now guys, we go to, uh, let's see here, the very next image. Now, this image here guys, it actually looks more blacked out than the first image. But again, it definitely looks like, especially on the outsole, in the midsole, it's got that navy blue kind of effect going on, okay? But they look more black than anything, all right? And then and you can see right there, the guys with the zoom air um, is in front of where the tongue is. That looks great as well. The blacked out shoe strings. You got air hole vents all throughout the shoe. So that's obviously a great looking thing, man. I'm, I'm really, really um, liking these shoes, and I'm really shocked and surprised that uh, the creators of Nike have actually came up with this idea. They figured out a way to incorporate this material into these shoes. And, you know, anything that's vastly different, you guys already know, is definitely going to have my attention. And as far as the interior portion of shoes, of course, as it stated, it's all blacked out. So you can't beat that, alright? And then, other than that, guys, uh, let's throw up, uh, let's see. We'll throw up one more image here. And... Very, here's the next image guys, very similar to the other image with the shoes lying down. Once again, you kind of can see the sun is kind of on the left side of the screen or on the picture. So again, it depends on how light and the sun is hitting the shoes and it kind of based that off of how it's going to be reflected or how your eyes are going to pick up the reflection of the shoes, what I'm trying to say. So again, now you kind of can see that they're starting to change into that chameleon effect again. Now we're getting more of a, a midnight blue into a, maybe a, almost like an aqua blue, okay? Uh, and then you got a little bit of navy blue mixed in there too, okay guys? So again, you can't really put these shoes in a box because as far as a colorway standpoint, it's giving you a variety of different colors, okay? Which is, like I said, it's not gonna limit you when it comes to how you're gonna hook your outfits up, your socks, your hat, uh, any other type of accessory that you decide to get. Okay, so I, I really like these shoes a lot, man. Uh, but this is, again, going to be a first look. So I'll definitely get you guys thoughts and opinions on them. Uh, you know, let me know down below what y'all feel about the shoes, man. Is this going to definitely be a cop for you or is this going to be a pass? All right. For me, I'm on the fence about them right now. I do like them. But I will let you guys know later on uh, once more information becomes available if this is going to be a cop or pass for me. Okay, so again, there's no official release date, but we do know it's going to be uh, December of 2019, and we do know also uh, that they're coming, but we don't know what the price point is going to be, uh, availability, 
where you can get them from, etc. I'm going to assume that you can get them on, you know, Nike.com, the Nike Sneakers app, you know, your typical uh, everyday shoe stores. You might be able to find them. But this is a really special edition type of Air Jordan 1, so I can't really see you walking to a Foot Lock or a Foot Action or a DTLR or a House of Hoops and saying, hey, give me these shoes. Your best bet is probably going to have to be to order them, all right? But like I said, guys, make sure that you stay tuned and keep it locked. So um, that way when the official release date and price point is available, you guys will be the first to know. All right. Also guys, make sure you like and share the content. And if you enjoy the content, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. The channel would definitely appreciate that and I would as well. All right. So until next time, I appreciate you guys watching, listening, tuning in. Have a good